Welcome to All Miles Reviews. This is Alan. I'm on my way to the Tesla Supercharger after a long day of work. But check this out. I'm going to the similar address to Supercharger, but I did not plug in the navigation to Supercharger. Why? Because when you plug it into Supercharger, the car is going to precondition to get the fastest speeds. However, I don't care about fastest speeds. I just want to charge the car. Plus, the car has been sitting in the sun all day. So it's pointless to precondition the battery. Because what happens when I precondition the battery? Well, guess what? You got to consume more energy. I'll see you at the supercharger. Lots of superchargers for being in Orange County, California. Anyway, let's find a spot and start charging. Straight ahead, there's a cafe, Leo Vinci. I'm not sponsored by them. I haven't even tried their coffee, to be quite frank. So we arrived at this uh, supercharger at 23%, which is uh, ideal, 25 or below. And sometimes pushing the button doesn't work. So we gotta tap on the door, open up, let the, let the blue teeth turn into green. There we go. Didn't take too long at all. Let's see what kind of speeds are we picking up. One thirty-five. Okay. So we topped out one thirty-five. And now we're creeping downward. Now while we're here, let's talk about the navigating to a supercharger. So to get the best uh, speed, to my understanding, you want to start navigating at least 60 miles out. I tell you why. If you watch uh, my video of I-15 from SoCal to uh, Montana, the stretch between the Cedar City, Utah to Beaver, Utah. It's a less than an hour drive, okay? Speeds are 80, cruising along. The max speed, if I could recall, 145 kilowatts an hour. That was the top speed. Despite I navigate to a charger and the car precondition. So, there's a food for thought here. Food for thought, yes. Now we're already at 96, because you know, the battery is not 100% filled up, but that's okay. If you want to hang out to some place like this cafe right here, again, I'm not sponsored by them. If you want to hang out over there, it's perfectly fine. Long as these superchargers don't fill up, we're good to go. Just a quick update, uh, the battery it was sipping to the 80s and 90s kilowatts an hour. Now it's back up to 105, 106, and it's pretty steady. It went up 37%. We just completed a, a charging session of 
23% to 100. One minute to an hour. Eleven dollars and four cents is the cost of this uh, charging session. Charge up to one hundred percent only in the LFP Tesla like this one. Once a week. Now, if they want to know how long does it take to charge a Tesla on a road trip, I'm gonna send you the link down below for you. This is Alan Almash. Thank you for watching.